Okay, so now we will go over the um, alcohol and you know how your body handles alcohol and what happens, what are the moderations of what are the drinks. So, you know how people always say drink in moderation? Well, what exactly is that? So apparently it's two drinks per day for men and one drink per day for women or not pregnant. If you're pregnant, you shouldn't be drinking at all. Anyways, so um, what exactly is a drink? A drink is considered to be, well, um, 0.5 ounces of pure ethanol. So that's in 5 ounces of wine, 10 ounces of wine cooler, 12 ounces of beer, 1.5 ounces of distilled liquor, that's, you know, rum, scotch, whiskey. So, um, when you drink, what happens to your body? So alcohol is very special uh, because it's absorbed directly into the stomach. It's 20% if you have an empty stomach, it goes directly in your brain in like a minute. So you feel the effects immediately, which is why you should be um, eating food along with it. And um, after it's in the stomach, there is something called the alcohol dehydrogenase. And it'll reduce the amount of alcohol by about 20%. Um, but unfortunately, in women, we don't have as much alcohol dehydrogenase. That's why, you know, the drinking amounts, uh, moderation rates are different for men and women. So then after that, um, alcohol gets turned into um, uh, acetaldehyde to acetate, to acetyl-CoA, and this is done with the help of NAD, which then diminishes, but then that just means there is less NAD for the um, metabolism. So uh, of course, um, alcohol also goes into the liver, and the liver can pretty much kind of process 0.5 ounce ethanol per hour so if you drink more than that you're going to overwhelm your liver and again i said alcohol is special because it gets the vip status the very important person status um, when it gets the liver the liver has to drop everything else and just work on you know alcohol so when the liver doesn't work you have all these fat that are built up in the liver, which is why for a chronic drinker, they will be having fatty liver, um, where, you know, alcohol interferes with the distribution of nutrients and oxygen that is usually done by the liver. This continues, um, it'll turn into fibrosis, where the liver cell dies um, and forms these uh, fibrous scar tissues. It's still reversible at this stage. You can still eat a healthy diet, stop drinking immediately. But if you don't, it goes into cirrhosis, which is, you know, the more damage to the liver, your liver cell pretty much all die, and, you know, you can't really process any of your nutrients. It's the least reversible stage. Probably, you know, at this stage, you should be at the hospital. Basically, if you have a fat liver, you cannot generate glucose from protein, and um, it just slows down everything. If you want to check out what the liver does, which is a lot of things, go into my other video and I'll tell you why the liver is so important. So, um, remember that again, alcohol in moderation.